Hey, I'm back again, guys. This is the finally, we're almost done. This is the final third part three of three deck profile. And this time it's going to be introduced to my Shadow Paladins. So I hope you guys very much enjoyed the long road from my Pale Moons to Shadow Paladins. So, so yeah, let's get on with the deck profile itself. So the first one we got the full bow. I guess, you know. When um, Blaster Javelin rides on him, then you can search your deck for one copy of Blaster Dark from your deck to your hand. And that's pretty much all you do on his part. So, and then you can shuffle your deck. So we all know we all love shuffling, anyways, don't we? It's a very good idea. It's very much easy to deal with. Okay, and also for triggers, we got four copies of heal triggers, um, Abyss Freezer. Or not freezer healer. Why the fuck? Those two are a bunch of abysses. So, anyways, um, I do love her artwork. I love the blue and black armor. It's very sexy on her. And yeah, so that we got four of those. I'm just gonna try to shut them for the rest of the time because I can't help liking these artworks. They're so amazing. Next thing we got four abyss freezers draw triggers. So there's four of that. And next thing we got is four copies of the critical Grim Reaper and also four more criticals of its pet, the Death Feather Eagle. So there's a total of eight crits, and that's the number the same number for all my, my three my last two Vanguard decks. So I like to get my numbers very even and very much, you know, an open chance. So that's it for grade zeros. The next one we have in the Blaster series or for grade ones, we have Blaster Javelin, four of him. Um, when he rides on top of Full Bow, um, you know, Full Bow skill kicks in. And as long as Full Bow is in the soul, he receives 2,000 power for that turn. Also, his automatic skill, which I don't I don't ever get it off anyways, but I'll say anyways. Actually, you know what? You guys know what he does anyways on that last skill, so I'm not going to say any more about that one. The next one we have four copies of we have four copies of Garuba Bao. Um, his Armax skill when this attacks hits a Vanguard or this unit attacks a Vanguard. If you have a Shadow Paladin Vanguard, this unit gets three thousand or two thousand power at the end of that battle. So if you have a, if you have two of these in your hand, then you're asking for a big giant bite on your ass. The next one, so um. The next one we have for grade ones is the perfect guard for Shaw Paladins, um, Dark Shield McClear. McClear. Um, there's also a Revenger series coming out, probably like another year or so or a couple of months. I don't know, but um, his new look is something to die for in the Revenger series, like a Super Sailor Scout transformation thing. They're getting a whole, th a whole thing upgraded. And the last for um, my grade ones is two. Apocalypse with bats. Um, basically, he does a soul blast. When this unit boosts a unit with blaster in its name, it can pay the cost. If I do, the boosted unit gets 6,000 6, powers at the end of that battle. So that's why I guess it's more, more importantly the blaster series. So um, speaking of blaster series, for grade twos we have the avatar of Ren Sukumori. And also a little bit from Aji Sendo. And my best friend. Um, Blaster Dark. Counterblast one when he or counterblast two cards. When he enters the Vanguard Circle, you can retire you can choose one of your opponent's rear guards and dis and retire them. Basically killing them in the process. Um, the next one we have three copies of Skull Witch Nemen. Everyone's saying just to run two, but I prefer three, since I like to run even numbers a little bit for my decks. I know, it's, just, it's a very odd number. I don't know why I'm saying that, but still. Um, counterblast one of them and discard one Shadow Paladin from your hand. In exchange, you get to draw two cards. So she's your very good drawing lover. Even if she is a weak 3, 3k girl, but she's a good elf. Hell, she's one of the most sexiest elves. So the last one we have is four copies of Knight of Noldy Masquerade. As long as you have a vanguard with um, blaster in its name, he gets three thousand power when he attacks. The attacks when he attacks. So, yeah, I like, I like that very much. 
Okay, so this is also a blaster cross ride thing. So we got four copies of Phantom Blaster Dragon, and his effect scares the shit out of me still. Like, I can still picture it, like, in my mind. You can counterblast three cards and sacrifice two of your three of your rear guards as long as they're shot paladins. And yeah, it's like very in retired them. He gets a ten thousand power boost plus one critical until the end of that battle. It scares the living shit out of me because what if that is like in the movies and go crazy? But yeah, um the last but at least is that we got the cross ride for Phantom Blaster Dragon. Phantom Blaster Overlord, four copies of him. And um, out of the, out of both the decks that I have, I'm gonna tell you something after this review. So he's he has a Persona Blast attack. Um, as long as you have Phantom Blast Dragon in the soul, he gets 2,000 power, obviously. And if I have a non shop Hound in Vanguard or Rear Guard, then he loses 2,000. But you know, everybody in my shop Hound, my deck is shop Hound. So Counter Blast three and choose a card, a copy of Phantom Blaster Overlord, and discard it. When this uh, unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, it gets 10,000 plus one critical under the end of that turn. It's a terrifying uh, skill. But yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you guys really do like the videos I, the, the two tech profiles I did. Um, what I, I will say this as a little noticed. My three decks are consisted of cross rides and um, personal blasts and definitely, definitely nullifies. So Phantom, the Shadow Paladins and the Oracle and the Oracle Think Tanks are cross rides, but the Shadow Paladin and um, Pale Moons are Persona Blasts. But all three, overall, are Nullifies. So yeah, I hope you guys like these deck profiles and tell me what you guys think on each three of them. And yeah, and thank you guys for tuning in and hope you guys have a great week and talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.